Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm taking a walk in the jungle in Mexico. What's up? Finally got some good weed to smoke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we doing the crypto mentorship uh, basic and platinum group sessions on Zoom, so hit me up. We spit non-stop game. Uh, we're doing classes twice a week for the platinum mentorship and we're doing the one class a week for the basic mentorship and I got the aroma ther therapy roots and shine check the links out in the description and whatnot so let's get into it let's talk about your slice of the pie your slice of the crypto pie baby right we finally hit a trillion dollar market cap how much of that do you actually own right and if this this is going to go to who knows how many trillions of dollars, how much of that market cap will you capture through your crypto investments? What slice of the pie is going to be yours? Because I'm telling you, every day I'm getting more. Every day I'm getting more. And I'm not actually having to buy more every day. The money that I'm making is making more money. All right? Interest-bearing tokens. You don't even know how deep this game goes. Wait until you get, wait till, we, till I start teaching about tokenized risk, right? Tokenized debt. You don't know what, you don't know about this game. Tokenized risk and tokenized debt. How to make profit off both those. Get off. You know what I'm saying? Get off my ass. Anyways, anyways. Your slice of the pie. One of the best examples is I like ample forth. To give this example, same thing with Bitcoin. Your slice of that 21 million will always be yours. It will not get diluted, right? So same thing with Ampleforth and some rebase currencies. Your slice of the pie, no matter whether it's through a, uh, expansion, equilibrium, or a contraction, you will always have your slice of the market cap. So you don't focus on the price of Ampleforth. You focus on your, your portion of the market cap, right? So if you own 10% of a million dollar market cap, that's like 100 grand. Right, but if the market cap goes to a billion, you still own 10% of that of that market cap. So what's 10% of a billion? What 100 million? And you didn't have to actually reinvest. So on the positive, really optimistic side, that's how lucrative it is with these non-dilutive currencies. Right. So yeah, that's the best example. Somebody taps you on your soda and says, "Hey, no matter how big or how small that slice of that pie is, you'll always own 10% of it. Even if there's one slice left." You still have 10% of that one slice. You do not get diluted, right? So as you see in, uh, there's called assets under management or total value locked. There's these different acronyms that they use. TVL, total value locked, assets under management, just shows how much money is coming in. Billions and billions of dollars every month is coming into DeFi. How much of that is, do you actually own the private keys to? Bro, get a slice of that pie, man. I'm telling you. Like, this is the chance to build generational wealth, right? So, and I, you really want bots doing a lot of this for you. You really want the yield farming and smart, co smart contracts doing all the hard work for you, right? So, I'm telling you, invest in, in get, get some Ethereum, invest in DeFi, and get a larger slice of that crypto pie. I'm telling you, because that shit tastes bomb as fuck.